Well, Disney fans were horrified this morning to see racial slurs appear on Disneyland's official Instagram and Facebook accounts. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom joins us live in Burbank with details on this horrifying case of hacking. And Cara, how many people potentially saw these posts? Chris, Disneyland has 8.4 million followers on these pages, so a lot. Take a look, this self-proclaimed super hacker briefly got into the theme park's Instagram and Facebook pages, putting up posts saying he wanted to bring revenge upon Disneyland. We did have to blur parts because he used racial and homophobic slurs, also rambled on about inventing COVID. The pages are usually filled with photos of families and fun. We asked a USC professor who specializes in cybersecurity about the hacker's possible end game. The purpose of, of things like that can simply be to try to embarrass Disney or raise the profile of the hack itself. But Professor Clifford Newman suspects the picture and name the hacker posted as his, were also, which we've blurred, were also stolen. He also says the criminal didn't seem to infiltrate other companies, so this was likely a classic phishing attack on the people responsible for Disneyland's social media. Here's how that works sent a link to a uh, website that you click on. It looks like the site you're trying to log into, but in fact, it is set up to collect your passwords, your login credentials and send them to the adversary. I think they need to provide stronger training to whoever was responsible for those accounts. And here's what we learned from a Disneyland official. They say the two accounts were compromised early this morning. They worked quickly to remove the content, which is gone, and to secure the accounts. Their security teams are now investigating. Chris, the professor, says that Disneyland will likely need to also work closely with Facebook and Instagram to further heighten security.